All right, so welcome back, everyone. We are now on episode 18, John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim. We are right here outside of Orotheim. During our last episode, we went and somehow managed to survive Dead Man's Respite. Uh, we made our way down across Robber's Gorge and are now right here. So we are going to be taking out the bandits inside this cave, getting Karjo's moon amulet, because that's who stole it right among the bandits. And we are going to make our way back up to Solitude, return to the Bard's College with Olaf's Lost Verses, uh, finish off that quest. We're going to have to present that to Eden Elisif uh, and basically reinstate the festival. And then we'll probably make our way back down to Whiterun and uh, complete a couple of these other ones. And uh, I don't know, we might, we, we'll probably drop off Verdia's giant rock thing because I think it weighs like 10 cabbages. And on our way here, we uh, we happened to get a bunch of friends that we dragged up here too. And uh, yeah, we were also attacked, like as we arrived here, we were attacked by two bandits that were outside. Um, they they were like over there and they walked over. It was pretty weird, so we'll meet them later. We're gonna deal with all these guys later. So for now, we're gonna we're gonna sneak in here just because Eric, I don't know, Eric's off of the bushes doing something. But we need him to teleport back to us. Areas. He uh, does Eric has a healing aura. Take some mushrooms. How are how are our buffs doing? Uh, blessing of RK. We have a healing poultice. We got our tomato mammoth stew. We don't have a beef stew up, but I think we should be okay. This uh, I mean, with with the two of us against some bandits, we'll just run outside if it gets too really bad. I hate bandits and thieves. We'll, we'll try sneaking. But... Someone there. Oh, okay. Over here. Ah! Uh, let's see. Who are you? Who are you? Eric, get him! Come on, Eric. You gotta hit the target. Whoa! Whoa! My god, they were invisible! That could have been really bad if they were, like, shooting at us or something. Ooh. Nice gem. A couple of these. I don't know what that did. Yeah, some scrolls. Nice staff. Do we have the carry weight for that? I'm just gonna quickly loot on the way, right? Folks, leave everything else. A couple of mushrooms. So we lost all of our mushrooms. What else we got? Raw salmon steak? No thanks. Anything else good here? What's that? Oh! Hello. Who is there? What was that? Oh, with a bow. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Kill him, kill him, kill him! Where are they? Ooh. Okay, that was ter- What is this? Lightning sparks? Oh, they must have had a scroll. Journal. Orathime bandits. We might read that. Take their skooma. Yeah, we'll take that and see what it has to say, right? Elven sword, is that worth taking? I'm over encumbered, though. What can we drop off really quick? Uh... Uh... We'll drop off this one. Anything good on you? Not really. Eh. Is that everyone? Anybody else in here? Oh! Okay, that's it. There it is. Right? Pretty simple. What do we got, right? Ooh! A steel scimitar. An elven war axe. Not bad. Weight to value ratio isn't exactly the best though, but you know, take it. We might take it. We'll we'll figure out what we're gonna take. We're gonna go. Okay, this looks like a door. <gasps> it is a door. Ooh. Oh oh. Look, it's just a little quick entrance back into the main chamber. Okay. Kind of seems unnecessary because the place is so small. Um. A large creature, no fire squirrel. That was summoned by one of our enemies, which is why I ran away crying, basically. Staff of Flames, that is, like, not even worth taking. Uh, well, that is worth taking, though. A silver diamond ring. Not worth a thousand gold. Here's Karjo's moon amulet. Thank you. Soul gem, too. Uh, we're gonna have to find him. Uh, 
that's probably going to be much harder than actually going through here. But uh, what we'll do is we'll pick up all the mushrooms, we'll figure out if we're the iron gear, and then we will make our way back up to Solitude. And we're probably not really going to encounter any. Cool. Sorry. And I can't look at my stats either. Alright, we're finally back at the Bard's College. Who are we speaking with? You! Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? We found it! I have to admit, I didn't think that it would actually necklace. be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged yep. to the point that Damage. the parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable, well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. It means I can't mean? read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. Hey. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Uh, can't we just make parts up? Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. That's where the making it up part comes in. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What do we say really happened? So, there's different options, and the... The reward you get, like the, the quality of the poem, is actually based on different things. And if you use the persuasion options, even though they're crazy and ridiculous, you end up getting like a better reward. So, Olaf was Numenex, a dragon in human form. I find that highly unlikely, but the court will love it. Right? Writing it in. Okay, what's next? Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, solitude attacked Winterhold, but Asgir seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Um, let's see. So, I mean, the, the true answer is that Olaf ordered, uh, what is it? Or convinced Solitude. No, no, no. It was that he ordered, uh, disguised troops. But I think it's much more cool that he attacked a dragon. Oh, that is exciting. Dang right. I'm sure the court and the Yara will love it. I'm, I'm writing it in now. Anything else? It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. Let's do it. All right, cut. <laughs> All these people, they, they walk so slow. Positions, everyone. It has to go well. King Olaf Festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, 
Your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex Hakan for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, and no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf was Numenex in human form. On moonless nights, he would spread wings and sail. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong. Skyrim's truest protectors. Yay. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. <laughs> it's just did a freaking lap around him. Solitude would not soon bend knee. Olaf would hurt them while his status accrued. He sacked Winterhold in dragon form and bent their minds to blame Solitude. So ends the story of Olaf the liar, a thief, and a scoundrel. We of the yawn. Did you hear the yawn? To the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn. Wow, a tough crowd. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you and the oh my God. you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be very generously rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Oh, okay, we're zoning out. He is. Unbelievable! Yay! You've done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Oh, uh, does that mean I'm a part now? Soon. Soon. What? These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. Oh, okay. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on. It's back on, baby. If continues and the worst comes to pass, Solitude will pay the price. Why am I... Oh, I'm walking. I was like, am I over encumbered? We don't have the luxury of... Ah, yes, the, the festival's back on. Great. Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. Excellent. Do this! It's party time! Party time! Yeah, man, it's like... It's supposed to be a festival, not a ritual. Whoa, okay. What we got, what we got. Might as well have some sweets. I made them for the festival after all. Spice wine. A festival Dang right. Favorite. Buy our meats made here at the festival. They're the best. Did you say free meat pies? I said a free meat oh. pie. As in one. Here's yours. Okay, thank you. Oh, is it happening? You see, we cannot help them all. The poor must learn. All right, let's do this. Home of the arts here in Skyrim. Oh, okay. I think we're just watching. Speed you along. Welcome, people of solitude. We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. Cheers. Yay, applause for us. With the lighting of the effigy, he becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Ah, uh, yeah. Please welcome our newest Bard. No, Eric's watching. He's vibing. Very nice. Whoa. They like you. So I'm a bard now? Yes, congratulations. You are now a uh, yeah. bard's college. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things that they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. Hey, weekly. And nice. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. 
All right, how much gold? 5,000 gold? She gave us 5,000 gold. 5,000 gold. That's like a horse. Ooh. Oh man, that, that right there is gonna be our, uh, what is it? All right, here, we're gonna do a quick save too. That's definitely going to be our, uh, upper image, right? Very nice. Very nice indeed. So we're allowed one meat pie. Okay. Take a couple of these. Damn right. Old wine. We won't have any of the wine. Where's uh, the wine cellar, right? I should make sure Sfari's okay. Yeah, the woman selling the wine? Usually she's here. But you? Thank you so much. The festival has really increased my sales. Uh, giving away the wine? One bottle per customer. Except for the man who saved the festival. Here's a couple of bottles for you. Yay, we get to. Good luck out there. Alright, we did it. So what we'll do is we are going to spend the night at the inn, and then we're going to head down to deal with the Statue of Meridia. Uh, and we're going to place it. We're not going to do the quest, and we're going to make our way back down to Whiterun, turn in a couple quests there, and I think that will be the end. Free, Let's go do that. Get your meat pies. Cool. Very cool. That, like, I was really impressed with the quality of the flames there. That was super beautiful. Yeah, it's all as abandoned horse, right? No, Eric was vibing. He, Eric was totally vibing out to the burning of the effigy, right? Oh, uh, are we hungry? We are. So let's let's have some snacks, right? Let's uh, do a sweet roll. Um, what else can we do? Didn't we grab like a, a nut treat? Yeah, there we go. Late night sn uh, snackums. We'll just want, rent the room here. I mean, we could tr uh, travel through the night if we really wanted to, or take the carriage. Uh, you know what? I think we will. I think we will take the carriage. So why not? Even better? Well, well, yeah. The road is Let me take a look here, because... No, 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 we still have to do the Statue of Meridia, so... I think what we'll do is we'll do that, and then we'll come back, take the carriage, because it'll be like 500 gold, right? We've already traveled this road so many times that... You know, we, we could pass through Dawnstar, but it's not safe these days. So we will buy a room. Welcome to the Wink. Room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Remember the rumors the say the culprits are vampires. And our room is right up here. So we'll do what, like, eleven hours? I think that'll give us eight thirty, if I remember correctly. There we go. Hungry, dehydrated, but well rested. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Eh. Woo! -hoo. And we will do no, no raw food, right? I guess we can do a um. What are we gonna do here? Probably a cooked horker meat. Do one of those. Okay, there we go. Now we're well fed. Oh, we need water though. Ah. Everybody's all clumped up. Oh, it's raining. We can make a delivery in the rain. That's fine. Hello, ladies. It's <laughs> a drunk guy shouting at the women as they walk by. Nice. No, I, uh, I didn't want a random bucket. Still parched. Do another fill up there. All right, fine. We'll, we'll carry a bucket with us, right? We'll be fine. So we'll drop this off, and then we'll take the carriage back. We probably could have dropped it off at night, but... <sighs> I 
And then the first thing we'll do when we get back to Whiterun is some restoration training. Because we have like 20k gold now, which is amazing. Eric's holding all of our gold. Helps with inventory management. Back it up. So, I don't... Ah! I don't remember what the most efficient way to get to this statue is. We're also going to do a quick save before we do it, because every now and then it has a tendency to just kind of kill you as you fall to the ground. But uh, we, we do have RK's Blessing, though, so that will prevent that from happening. Is it this way? Where Where is the road? I think it's the next road, and then there's some little side path or something. We'll figure it out. It's not that... Uh, I don't know. No, it's an actual, like, paved road. I hope. Eric will keep up. Figure it out. Yes, this one. Right here. Okay. And then... Is it there? Yeah. Might be that. Soldiers. Yep, yeah, it's definitely this one. music. Alright. Wait, what? Myrdia does not accept those who... Oh, okay, hold on. We, we did the wrong thing. Um, did we? Did we? No, I don't think we... No, we're still a devotee of RK, but we have the blessing of Meridia. That's interesting. There we go. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Okay. That's a blinding light. It is time for my splendor to return to sky. Ooh. But the token of my truth <laughs> lies buried in the ruins of my once Right. Child. Okay, we're... Now tainted by a profane darkness skittering within. Oh, yep, yep, uh-huh. We're paying attention. It's awful. Hey, Eric! She wants you to be her champion. <laughs> Eric's like, well, you're gonna have to pay me for that. Um, I'll do it. Of course you will. I have commanded it. Mm. Go now. The artifact must be reclaimed and Malkarin destroyed. So it's her sword. It's a uh, Dawnbreaker. Fair enough. All right, now we're peacefully falling back down. We die. We die, are we dead, are we dead? We are not dead. Okay. Where's Eric? Eric! Eric! Eric, where is Eric? Okay. I guess... I guess Eric's not gonna join the party. 
Well, there's our beacon, so that's kind of cool. Hey, there he is. Okay. <laughs> so Eric fell. But, uh, here. I don't think... Whoa. Oh, we can! We can now officially cast healing auras. While wearing full armor. That's incredible. I'm not too sure why, but... That's great. Oh, what, what just happened? Oops. That back up. Is it still our uh, favorite? Cool. So he'll heal up a little bit. Um, excellent. So we did that. We're not going to go in there. It's basically way too dangerous right now. We could probably clear some of the outer rooms, but we're... We haven't enchanted our armor yet. We're not equipped yet. What we want to do is make our way down to Whiterun, turn in a few of those things. We'll grab some more Grand Soul Gems, and we will see if we can't level up our restoration, get a little bit further, and uh, go from there. What are our two quests that we have here? They're, um... No, not that. Uh, we have to deliver a note, right? And then animal extermination. Oh, yeah, we're uh, we're headed to Danica for training anyway. That's perfect. Danica's our uh, healing trainer. That is perfect, because we have to deliver a note to her. Peace. We could not deliver this note, and then we always know where she is, but, you know, that's you, I heard it. kind of a cheating Your thing. Sister? Poor child. Magic runs deep in that family's bloodline. It's not always a blessing. Mm. Thank you for this. Something for your trouble. All right, because I'm going to give all that money back. Share my knowledge with you. Oh, that is, like, super not expensive, right? That's great. Cool. That is way cheaper. Oh, well, we don't have any gold anymore, but we did max out our level there. All right, level up, please. We'll stick it into health. And we're halfway to 23. I can work with that. Whoa. Now what we'll do is we will turn in our, uh, what was it? Our companion's quest. And we'll see if we can get a new one. Preferably in White Run. Where is she? Oh. <laughs> I've heard you may actually be stronger than. Yeah, cat's dead. I'm sure that the owner of that place is relieved. Oh yeah, I was inside somebody's place. Looking for work. Still eager to please. This is good. Skewer might be right about you. Okay, where he is has it? something special planned for you. Oh. Take a look at it. Okay. I'm a warrior, not a blacksmith. Silver hand. Are you skewer? If Very nice. So we'll we'll start this, and then we'll uh, once we know what we're going to be doing, we'll wind up. Yeah, so. ah, there you are. You wanted to yes. see me? I have something a little different planned this time, but it's not for everyone to hear. Meet me in the Underforge tonight. Oh. We will speak more. Oh. Where's the Underforge? I forget that you've never seen it. Beneath the Skyforge, where are your Oh. The door is hidden, but I will show you the way. All right, then. All right, so I think that is going to be it because we know what happens in the Underforge. I know there's some people who don't, but it's where we become a, a werewolf, a full member of the Companions. That is very exciting. So we managed to become a bard. Now we're going to become a full Companion. In our next episode, we'll see what that entails. We're going to upgrade our armor. We're going to try and figure out how we're going to get it enchanted. I will see you and have a good night, everyone. Bye.